Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome to another video where I go through part two of why BW Golf is all you need. And yeah, I'll get straight into the video really. So yes, welcome back to another video on my channel. And this is a little sort of three part series on why a BW Golf R is kind of all the car you'll ever need. And if you haven't yet watched um, part one, please check that out from the link above. And um, if you're watching this sort of in a few weeks time, sort of after this video is made, I'll leave um, a link to all three parts of the video in the description. But yeah, in today's sort of part two, I wanted to go through how safe and how secure it has made me kind of feel over my sort of three year ownership of having the Golf R. Again, if you're not familiar with the channel, I own my Mark 7 Golf R for about three years. So I know it quite well. And a lot of subscribers know their cars quite well as well, their Golf Rs in particular. So for me, I have quite a big commute, not at the moment, because we're still kind of going through COVID and we're still locked, <laughs> locked out of our office. But I have a bit of a commute into London. And to be honest with you, particularly over the first six months when I was in every single day and I was getting out of summer and into winter, I kind of almost said to myself, it's highly likely I'm going to be involved in some kind of an accident just because there's so many, the volume of traffic, people rushing around, they're desperate to get to work, desperate to get to London. They're very single minded in what they want to do is as safe and as, you know, as careful as you can be on the road. It's very difficult to actually stop something external happening and you know the odds were that I probably would have eventually get involved in some kind of an accident which isn't ideal and as strange as it sounds the Golf R is kind of the perfect companion to kind of help you through those kind of situations you know I've had wet drizzly mornings heading into work you know you're in the fast lane you're doing 70 miles an hour something just randomly appears on the road you couldn't really even see it which did actually happen to me and you have to swerve out the way so you've got all the systems on because i don't drive with the traction control off just on my normal commute because why would you um and i had to swerve almost swerve into the other lane and swerve back in at pretty high speed without really sort of changing the acceleration or having time to brake because you wouldn't be able to brake in time and the car did it so so well because it's got four wheel drive what it will do is if you keep your foot on the gas and you actually turn left and right, it will distribute the power to make sure you stay as sort of stable as you can. Um, I also found because it's not the lightest car in the world, it's not heavy, but it's not the lightest, um, it, it sort of maintained its balance and its body weight quite well. It didn't sort of like take itself offline. Some cars can be quite risky in terms of following camber and following almost the lines on the road. And that can sometimes cause a few issues i did find it in my fiesta st which i had before this car where it would follow sort of like potholes and things in the roads just because of the way the wheels were um and sort of the low profile tires i haven't really found that with this and it got me out of that particular situation and in other situations where you have to go to a complete stop which does randomly happen particularly early mornings where sadly people do have accidents um yeah it's great the car will actually warn you to be fair with the safety systems in the golf it will sort of flash up saying like something's ahead red and it'll actually prime the brakes as well although when you're going at that high speed it won't stop for you it will prime the brakes so that when you put your foot on the brake it's basically using maximum pressure with just like a little tap on your toe certainly put your foot on foot on the brake when you need an emergency stop but it will help assist you with it and it stops like you know it would stop a train basically it's really really strong brakes on that car previous like evo car tests as well back a few years ago i think tested it and it was really really good in terms of its braking ability it's 340 mil brakes up front i think it's 280 mils at the back very very strong pro um stopping power which is again what you kind of want from a car the car itself i've always found has really really good visibility as well which again you know, it makes it easier when you're sort of cruising around to have a little bit more light in the car. I've, I've always enjoyed that. And that was one of the main, you know, when I was driving around in it, I was like, this is like, it feels a lot bigger than it actually is just because it's letting so much light in the car. Um, it's almost like almost like a box shape, which helps with that and helps with the light. And it means it's easy to kind of use on a day to day basis and also to spot things that potentially, well, could cause you issues. But um, for me, certainly the main part around this sort of part two section is definitely how safe and secure it makes me feel it's that car that you can kind of live with every single day and it won't let you down and it hasn't let me down over my ownership and you know yes i keep it well maintained but it hasn't had any sort of problems touch wood as yet and 
that's kind of what I want to share it with you because I really think these three parts are important of what you kind of want in a car and why a Golf R is kind of all you really need, to be honest with you. And although it might not always be the most interesting topic to talk about in this sort of part two section about the safety and all that kind of stuff, it's a big part, you know. We're not all going to live forever, let's be honest with you. But, you know, if, if the worst case scenario happened and I had an accident, I reckon this car would look after me. It's built very, very well, German build quality, and it is safe. And as trucks and lorries and cars and everything gets bigger and there's SUVs all over the place, I reckon that would look after me in the worst case scenario. You know, I haven't had an accident, as I've said yet, and all the safety systems do help. And that's... And that's really, really good because you just you just don't know what's around the corner. So, yeah, that's definitely my main sort of part around part two, which is kind of the safety and security of the car. So, yes, thanks for watching um, today's video. Again, please check out um, this three part series if you uh, haven't already. And, yes, yeah, stay tuned for part three in tomorrow's video. So, yes, um, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this kind of topic. And, uh, yeah, I will see you again next time but have a fantastic rest of your day as well thanks for watching cheers guys